we're just in Toronto right now, and uh, just about to take off to go to London Gatwick, and then from there we go to Madrid, and then uh, from Madrid to Casablanca. We got the emergency exit road too, so pretty stoked about that. When you fly with WestJet, if you log in online ahead of time and you check in using the app, you can select your seat for free of charge, and the emergency exit road was open, which is awesome because as a guy who's 6'1", one, seven hour flight with no leg room would really suck. It was my first time flying to London too. Uh, no idea what it's going to be like, no idea what the airport's like. I'm sure it's going to be massive and really busy and super cool, but I guess we'll see. The other thing is Julia and I are actually flying on different flights. She booked later than me and we couldn't end up getting the same flight, so it's kind of silly. It, it sucks. We're not flying together, but I mean, it is what it is. We'll see each other when we get there. Right now, though, there's no one beside me, so really, it hurts. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. All carry-on items should now be stowed securely. All electronic devices should now be turned. Check this place out. This is gorgeous. To document everything. Welcome to my crib. All right, so we just got to our hotel in Casablanca, and now we're gonna go find something to eat, and then probably go have a tour of the mosque this morning. Oh, that looks good. It's like a smoothie. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right. Great. Hey, look good. Oh yeah, that would be great yeah, actually. Yeah. Thank you. Oh man, this looks so good. Cheers. <laughs> touch it. What's it like? It's it soft. Yeah, no, it's like... Yeah, touch it. Oh, they're a little soft. That's ow. That's nothing. That's nothing. We're in a mosque right now, and I didn't bring my glasses, and these are prescription sunglasses, so I'm going to be walking around a mosque with my sunglasses on the whole time, <laughs> because I'm cool like that. The Hassan II Mosque is the second largest mosque in Africa. It can hold 25,000 people inside for prayer, and at the top of its 210 meter tower sits a laser which shines towards Mecca. To see inside, you must purchase a tour from the ticket office in advance at the south side of the mosque. The cost is 130 Moroccan dirham, and there is a strict dress code. We're headed to our second hotel of the trip so far. Hotel uh, Morocco House. Hotel Morocco House. And we're in a taxi right now on our way there, and it's very busy. nice red leather roof. Yeah, look at that. It's very fashionable. So once we get settled in the new hotel, uh, I guess we're just probably going to go find a market or something and tour around. Right? Yeah. Exactly. My vlog still started with it just says vlog number. I don't actually like talk to fans. Do you have fans on YouTube? Well, like, here's the thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea where we're going. This is pretty cool. Thank you. Yeah, Why are all the elevators so small? Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna oh let my this is in three, oh, we have okay. three beds. Oh. Okay. I want this Hold on. In the Let me take this off.
Okay, so we just had our first meeting with our uh, tour group. I also forgot to mention at the very beginning, this whole trip is actually a G Adventures tour, which is like a Canadian tour company that leads you through all sorts of different countries. Anyways, we learned about all the cool things we're gonna be doing. Now we're going to dinner with our full tour group. I'm terrified right now because I'm talking to the camera and I'm trying not to get hit by a vehicle. Anyways, we're gonna go have dinner and then we'll be back to the hotel and we'll go from there and we'll talk about what our plan is next. All right, so it's 6.30 in the morning and we're just about to go downstairs and have breakfast. And then after that, we're gonna hop on a bus and take a five hour journey to Tangier, and then from Tangier, we're going to Chef Chaoun. I really have no idea how you say it. That's the blue city, right? Yeah. That's the blue city. Uh, and that's supposed to be super cool. We'll get some really good photos there, some really good video. Day three, uh, Casablanca uh -huh. slash Tangier uh -huh. slash ending in Chef Chaoun at half past five. We're gonna be the last on the bus. That's fine. I'm gonna be the loser sitting up in the front. Ottawa, Quebec. Ottawa! Welcome back to the uh -huh. vlog. On today's episode of Moseying Through Morocco, we found ourselves in Tangier, a beautiful coastal city on the Mediterranean. Um, we can see Spain in the distance there. It's a nice clean city, lots of fish. I uh, just had a beautiful Lebanese meal and we're ready for the rest of the day. So we just stopped in Tangier uh, on our way to Chef Chaoun. I still don't know how to say it. How do you say it? I think it's Chef, like, Chef Chaoun. Chef Chow and we'll go with that. So we're headed there, we just stopped in Tangier uh, and had some lunch and I ordered a kebab and I got a skewer and I ordered something else and I didn't get it but it was still tasty. We're crossing a road so I'm not gonna vlog while we're crossing a road. We figured out how to cross the road. You just find a local and you just stick really close to them and you cross whenever they cross. And as long as you stick close to them, like so far we've been all right. One thing we notice about this city as opposed to Casablanca where we just were, is it's really clean here. There's a whole bunch of people out uh, sweeping the roads and tending to the gardens and whatnot. Tangier, also known as the Door to Africa, is a port city set along the Strait of Gibraltar. Its history is a complex blend of French, Spanish, English, Portuguese, and many other countries' influence, and it wasn't until very recently that it became a part of Morocco. Modern Tangier is undergoing rapid tourism and business development, and the fancy new infrastructure juxtaposes its ancient and crumbling Medina, or Old Town. I certainly wouldn't make a trip just to see Tangier, but if you're nearby or driving between Chef Chauin, Fez, or Casablanca, it's definitely worth stopping for a visit. We just about finished the tour, so now we're gonna head back to the tour bus, and then on our way to Chef Chauin. Lots of movies were shot here as well. Uh, I know the, uh, the Born Identity, I think, was shot here. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of walking tours, because I, I, find, I find most of it like really boring. And when you do want to stop to take photos, they're rushing you to move on. And then when you do want to move on, they break into this huge story about the history of wherever you are, which sometimes is interesting, sometimes is not. Anyways, I'm glad we're done with the walking tour and we can hopefully kind of explore on our own from now on. I think that's what we'll do even if they end up doing walking tours. For those who like them, power to them, that's great. But uh, I prefer exploring and adventuring on my own. Uh, 